we're back. The GOAT agency is back. But before I give you too much information, because a lot has happened in this time, Matt is also back. I can't believe it, he's back behind the camera. Welcome back, me. We're in Cannes next week, back doing our daily vlogs. It's exciting, we've got more about that later. But we'll be back properly for the Daily Go in August. Let's get on with the show. So when I left the agency, I knew it was doing well, but I didn't know that this is what I'd be coming back to. Goat is sold to WPP, and it's a bit like, um, well, it's uh, mm, sort of, um, you know what, I'm not the best person to explain this. Aaron, very quickly before we start the vlog, explain to me what has happened, like I'm a five-year-old. A lot. We have been acquired by WPP, biggest advertising group in the world, absolutely delighted to be part of it. We have merged and absorbed Group M's influencer operation, which was Inca, which is a fantastic agency. We're now 400 people operating 36 markets, the biggest, best influencer agency on the planet. Okay, now explain it like, like I'm four. For God's sake. And maybe the best thing about all of this is that no one knows I'm coming back, only the founders. So let's go and surprise some goats. Um, I'm here for the GOAT agency. I guess I work there. This is man is back. Oh, no. Back in town, terrifying. Nick Cook, how are you? You one and you're ready, drooling. I've got banana like in girl, my mouth. Oh. Are you ready to be filmed? I think I'm mentally prepared. If you look really close, you can see a well, hard-working Liv Tutton. No, go away. go away. I didn't think that people would be annoyed straight away. Does it feel like old times? Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> you love the camera, don't you? <laughs> hello, hello. Should we have a proper meeting again? Hi hello, Pedro. Matthew Wyatt, lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you. Do you um, remember my job title? Probably not. Oh, no. Ah, you! Hello. 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 Yeah, it's us. Oh, my goodness. Hi. Yeah. We can warm up. I've actually I done some research the, on the, the top five corporate icebreakers. I don't know if we need an icebreaker. I've known you for like three years. Good to have you back. You. Miss you. So I've met some old friends, but what about the other 300 people that are none the wiser that I'm going to be filming them every single day come August? I think for their sakes, it's worth posting something in the company Slack channel. Ah, what have I done? I never left. I was just hiding in the ceiling panels. The Daily Goat is coming back, so get your clap rags on and prepare to be filmed. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Looking at the Slack channel, I don't recognise half of the people, which means that the company must have grown in the year and a bit that I've been away. I don't know. Harry, the herd has grown. It has. I mean, this isn't a great example of it because I'm sat in like the only non-busy part of the entire floor, but we're now like 400 people, totally global. People all over the US, all over Asia, Pacific, Europe, Africa. It's incredible, right? The business has grown in you know, a huge amount since when you left and there's so many people that you wouldn't have met yet. We haven't met. I've got a really sweaty hand. That's right. I've got a really dry hand. Oh no, this is the start, isn't it? Do I just pretend that you're not there? I'm it's not ready been, for this. It's only been 15 seconds. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to be a bit more professional with these people. I've locked myself in the toilet. Help! Help! Thank God. Matt, this is Hello. Daffod. Hello, mate. Who is Daffod? We are now merging with Inca. Uh, which was Group M's influencer solution, mm -hmm. um, and DAS was Global MD at Inca. Is doing a, a huge job in the integration of, of Goat and Inca at the moment. Can you say the word integration? Integration. 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 No, after me. Oh. <laughs> integration. Integration. <laughs> Quiet. The quiet. It's very, it's very quiet. Like the world, like when we put, well, we get onto the fourth floor. Very loud. Heading up to what will be the new goat offices come August. Oh, love what they've done with the place. Not gonna lie, it feels a little bit derelict. Well, this is cool. Hello. 
Matt Wyatt, film clap aboard. Hello, Thomas Freeman, goat emoji. I'm having a bit of an overwhelming experience being back. My knees are shaking. I have at least four butterflies in my stomach and I feel warm and fuzzy. All right, see ya. What? Where are you going? Oh, f he's gone. It was at this point that I remembered that all these people actually have jobs and aren't just my content donkeys. The email's called like, let's go big. Great, so Pretty let's, fine. Well, let's <laughs> sign off now That's so we good. can go big, right? Nick Cook, where are you going? I'm going with Aaron, absolutely you. To what? We're going to meet across the road. Am I coming to your meeting? You, can, you can't come in. Back. I was uh, Mark Reed. I would have your name on reception of someone. Who's Mark Reed? Your new boss, 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 boss. What was that then? Was that a little, little catch up? A sales catch up, making sure we're qualifying briefs in the right way. Don't know what that means. Now we're part of WPP. We're getting obviously lots of incoming briefs. Some are existing Group M clients, some are existing non-Group M WPP clients. All our work historically is client direct. So what we're trying to do is qualify all of them to make sure we're focusing one. resource on the right things. Please understand. Okay. None of it. <laughs> <laughs> Not us. I don't know what qualifying means. I don't think I'm qualified. Making to... sure that we have the brief is high quality enough that we actually have a really good chance of winning it. Are they my sunglasses? Oh, I've, yeah, I stole them. Sorry. <laughs> Are they actually? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Do you want them back? No, no, you keep them. That's fine. Right, yeah, right. Let's share this booth. <laughs> Cheerio, man. Bye bye. See you, mate. Have a good meeting. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. I've got some entry level interview questions for you. Are these actually go questions? I have no idea. I just found this. Um, give me an example of a time when you had to plan a large piece of work or project. What would I actually answer that? I think probably my, my answer to that would be the Crash Bandicoot deal we did in lockdown. So, mobile games, like big using Wicked IP, obviously with Crash Bandicoot, and we brought together like the biggest- A Wicked IP? IP being intellectual property. So Crash Bandicoot, like, King would have licensed the Crash Bandicoot image okay. in order to be able to use it on a game. So to be able to leverage that IP, IP that's very like nostalgic, especially for like our generation. Yeah. Get the biggest creators in the world from Mr. Beast through to the Sidemen, um, some of the biggest creators in India, Mexico, to talk about this game in a very, very short amount of time, the actual, campaign ran over a three week, four week period. So quite short. Quite a short campaign. Average campaign length here now is probably six months to a year. We're much more focused on the big clients that spend over the course of six, 12, 24 months. Well, thanks for your answer. I think you might be overqualified for an entry level job. <laughs> what else did you got? Come on, what, you, what would you answer? No, get, no, no, stop, no, no, you no, can't no. see the questions. Oh, it's the interviews. How do you think that me coming back is gonna be received? I feel really bad about our first encounter when you came back because the first time I saw you, you're leaning over the payroll desk. I haven't got approval for you to film or even be in the building. And I'm on the phone with the UK head of HR and one of the global heads of HR. And I literally had to pause the call and go, You're not allowed to film in this building, mate. What? I'm getting a f***ing lecture on no, compliance. And I don't care. You. It's been an experience getting to see you in, in a what is a more corporate building, more corporate office, but it's been very, very fun having you back. So welcome. Thank you, it's been um, a pleasure. And we're gonna be back properly uh, as of August, every single day. This is just like a little, it's just a, a taste. Bouche. This is a moose bouche of, a, of like 15 course taster menu yeah, but what, of oh. daily goat, uh, which will be back as of August this year. Uh, with this man behind the camera. But for those few extra courses after this lovely amuse bouche, we are back in Cannes, 20th to the 23rd of June. Three Cannes episodes, but also we'll be live streaming every single day. Be quiet! <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> every single day, 7.30 UK time, 8.30 Cannes time, live on the rooftop with Group M, speaking to some amazing people, live stream on LinkedIn. We will see you there, but more importantly, we will see you back in August for the Daily Go.
What's look. the chain? That's new. Wow, this chain is a new look for you. Isn't it? No, you're the second person to mention that. <laughs> Stop I mean, it. It couldn't be more Garrett. You wanna try it on? Mm. Go on, try it on Nick. Doesn't Cook. feel like it's real gold from the weight of it. I've got a wave maker global leadership presentation on Thursday. Shall it, I just turn up with this? It can only raise your street cred. Put it under the t-shirt and just see if you can get by. Yeah. Okay, now just go about your day. You like that, don't you?